So today is the day that we're going to hook up our water line. So I've got a couple of uh, fittings and hoses and tubings and clamps that we are going to uh, prepare to use. So I'm using the uh, reinforced vinyl tubing and that's a half inch ID. Also the uh, connecting hose to the sink. This is the original one that came with the faucet so I'm going to utilize that plus a fitting on the end that I can connect my tubing to and then we'll run that tubing down to the pump and connect that up. Then we have to connect our switches and our vent tube and give it a test run. So let me show you what I've got, what I plan on doing, then we're going to get started. So we'll be running our uh, line from our faucet down to the end which will connect our tubing. Our tubing will run under the sink and we will have to punch a uh, hole probably about right here and then it will come out through the bottom and into our bench seat here. Probably come out here somewhere and then uh, right down to our pump. I had to move the pump back just a little bit um, so our tubing will run into our fitting here. I don't want to get anything kinked. Then we'll connect our, we'll have to cut our tubing here, connect to our pump and our filter, and then we will put a, uh, a fitting here and run a vent out to the side. Now the vent obviously is going to help vent the tank when the pump is running so the uh, tank doesn't collapse, suck air, you know, try to suck air and also as I'm filling the tank from the outside uh, it'll act as an overflow so when the tank is full it'll push water out I'll know when to shut it off um, and that's what we're going to do so without any further ado let's get started alright so We've got our line connected to our faucet, installed our fitting here, and attached our nylon tubing, put a couple of clamps. We've got a hole drilled through the floor of the cabinet, and coming down to the bottom here into our area for our pump. I, uh, I punched a hole up here, but the hose is fairly stiff and it uh, wouldn't make that bend without kinking so I dropped it down. I could have probably dropped it all the way to the floor but I want to keep it up here in case I have to get to my switch and my fuse. So that's how that's going to be installed. So before I get everything reattached up here we're going to go ahead and run a vacuum, clean all that area up and then we'll reattach everything and uh, We'll call that good. So with everything installed, now we can uh, start connecting to the pump. So our tank is back in place. We've got our brackets holding the tank. We've got our fitting, uh, our tubing for our drain. And we've got our water line running down along the side. And we have some play here, so uh, nothing's too tight. And if I have to, I can always come in and uh, replace this fitting if I need to. Hopefully there's uh, no leaks, so we won't have to worry about that. Okay, on to the pump. So on the pump side, we are going to cut our hose just a little bit long here. So we're able to uh, do a little bit of work around. We'll go ahead and cut that about right, right there. Alright, now we got some room to play. We still have this hose here that we uh, need to cut. So I just got to find a good place for the pump. I'm thinking it's probably going to sit about right there. Our tubing will run about like that. And I have plenty of tube left over just in case uh, I make a mistake and cut things a little too short. So we're going to cut this one right here, get our fitting installed position our uh, pump, cut this tubing for this side, 
then we'll fasten the pump down and we'll call that good. Okay, so our setup is nearly complete. We have the, uh, the pump connected. We have our water line to our faucet connected. We have our water line to our tank connected. We have our drain connected and we have our fill connected. Uh, next thing is to punch for our overflow and that will complete the system as far as the tank as far as the tanks are concerned and then we'll run our wiring I have some switches that we will be installing along here and uh, be able to turn the pump on and off when needed and uh, give it a good try out so there it is starting to look like something so we have our fitting installed in the tank for the vent and I came, I'm going to come across and go out here so I have a hole drilled in the side. So next is to uh, install the fitting from the outside. Then uh, I'll probably need uh, another piece of tubing and an elbow right here. And that'll just get me right outside. Nice, short, and sweet. I couldn't go straight out here because I wouldn't have it would have been very difficult to get the tubing on and get the fitting on so we're just going to come right outside here and that's going to work great uh, got to make a store run because now I need to get a couple more clamps and uh, probably another piece of tubing and an elbow and once I get that then we'll, uh, we'll modify our fitting for our vent and then we can get everything installed and get ready to hook up our switches so we're coming along and uh, we'll have this thing running here shortly okay so we have our fitting installed on the outside of the trailer we have our tubing coming in and uh, now we're getting ready to install the elbow which will go like this and then we will have a tubing that runs between here which I have a little piece left over which I think is going to be just about the right size so we'll get that installed and then uh, we'll work on the switch running some power to the pump fill the tank and test it out all right so I'm happy with that fittings come out of the tank into our vinyl tubing little elbow to make the corner and out the side of the trailer uh, let's go ahead and get the cap ready and we'll put our uh, screen on there and then we'll, we'll be done with the vent so for the vent for the cap I just basically took the cap drilled a hole in it and then I will install our little screen mesh inside here just like so and then we'll screw that on the uh, outside on our fitting and our vent will be done. So this is our setup on the outside. Uh, this is our overfill. And uh, we'll just place this on here like so. There we go. Now we have a, uh, a vent. So now we can install our hose, fill the tank, and uh, it's all going to gush out here and soak whoever's filling the uh, tank up. Ha ha. Okay, just to recap, we installed our line for the faucet and we come to a fitting. We installed our nylon tubing, drilled two holes to run our line through to our pump, connected our pump and our tank. So at this point, um, everything is installed and ready to go we have our drain we have our fill and we have our vent so at this point um, before I start any of the electrical we're gonna go ahead and uh, clean up and put things back and then we will start on our switches and run uh, some wiring to our distribution block and uh, then we'll fill the tank and give it a test run. Man, I hope it does not blow or leak. So, that's it. 
let's get on with the electrical so once again we are cleaned and ready to start our new task remember whenever you finish a job clean up put your tools away that way you're ready to start your next task you never know when you're gonna get interrupted somebody might come over to visit and you can't pick up where you left off so the next time you come out to work it's nothing but a cluttered mess and you don't feel like working because it's so messy so make sure and clean up I am prepared to start my next task well I think we're gonna call that one a wrap for this video as far as getting uh, all the tanks in and completed so we have the holding tank in we've got the drains uh, hooked up and be able to flush it outside we also have the uh, fresh water tank we got the fill installed we've got the pump installed we've got the pump to the faucet installed we've got our uh, fill tube and we've got our vent tube installed so as far as the tanks and the sink we are complete so next is going to be wiring our switch panel and installing that and running our wire and testing our sink so with that, I'd like to say uh, thank you for watching, and I hope you come back to uh, see the final uh, test, whether or not this thing, uh, well, whether or not I take a shower in here or if this thing's going to work leak-free. So that'll be fun. Stay tuned.